What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Evelyn, and today I want to highlight some upcoming shows and films featuring queer lady characters. So sit back, enjoy the video, and if there are any upcoming shows or films I've missed, please let me know in the comments. Don't you ever wonder if I'm okay after all you Three years after the end of its first season, Euphoria is back. However hard life was, it got harder. True? Is there something you're not telling me? In all fairness, I had no intentions of staying clean. Three years is a long time. And if anyone needs a refresher, your girl recap the entire first season as well as both special episodes. So make sure to check those out before the season two premiere. Personally, I am incredibly excited about the return of Euphoria, but I'm also kind of scared. I feel like season two is darker. Yes. Since Literally everything about it is darker. Everything about it is darker. What does it mean? To all my Euphoria fans, please comment down below and let me know what you think is going to happen in season two. Also, let me know if you'd be interested in a completely unhinged season two prediction video because I have thoughts. And we still have a little time left before the January 9th season two premiere of Euphoria on HBO Max. Archive 81 is a horror slash drama series loosely based on a podcast of the same name about a documentary filmmaker who begins investigating a potentially dangerous cult. It's a strange detail for a building like this. Same thing here. In the podcast, Melody, the investigator, is a lesbian, but I don't know if she will retain her gayness in the show, so definitely take this one with a grain of salt. It's a maybe gaby. Now, I did listen to the first season of the podcast and it wasn't my cup of tea. You guys know I tend to like weird and dark things, but this podcast was a lot. It's found footage, it's psychological horror, it's actual horror, there's existentialist themes, there's sci-fi elements, and there's even more. But I don't want to accidentally spoil anything. But that being said, I'm still looking forward to the show. Despite how jam-packed the story was, it was still pretty compelling. And I'm sure Netflix will streamline some of the clunkier elements of the podcast. So if you're interested in a creepy, culty thriller, you can watch Archive 81 January 14th on Netflix. The Legend of Vox Machina is an animated series based on Critical Role, a Dungeon and Dragons actual play web series that follows a group of friends who basically travel around the world fighting various types of villains, including vampires, dragons, and doors. What if I heat the metal and melt the lock? This is imported silk. The lock doesn't seem to be magical. I'm not sensing anything. Can you people do nothing right? It's just a damn door. The web series includes several queer characters, so I'm guessing the legend of Vox Machina will be a decent amount of gay. And if you want to know more about the show and which characters are queer, check out this article over on Les Watch TV. As someone who literally knows nothing about Dungeons and Dragons, this article helped me out a lot and its writer, Mika Epstein, will be covering the show when it comes out. It's also worth noting that you don't have to watch Critical Role or even have played Dungeons & Dragons to understand the show. But for those of you who are interested, I'll leave some links to the web series in the description. The Legend of Vox Machina premieres January 28th on Amazon Prime. Shout out to my motherfucking walls. Uh, we ain't never Monarch is a brand new primetime musical soap opera about the Romans, a family of country music stars that will do anything to stay on top. We are the first family of country music. We do what has to be done to protect the family, no matter what happens. If there's a hell, I booked my ticket years ago. So I try not to judge books by their covers or shows by their trailers, but the Monarch trailer... It's bad. It's real. Bad. It seems like Fox is just trying to plug the hole left by Empire, and I think they might have copied and pasted a little too much. Anywho, I really hope I'm wrong, and Monarch turns out to be a really good show. Because lesbians. 
Gigi, one of the members of the Roman dynasty, is married to music manager Kayla. And if the Shelley Wright documentary taught us anything, it's that being a gay lady country singer isn't always easy. So if you finish binging Succession and want to watch yet another rich family destroy themselves for no reason at all, you can catch the first episode of Monarch January 30th on Fox. And make sure to check out the pinned comment on this video for even more shows featuring queer characters that are returning in January, including Snowpiercer, A Discovery of Witches, and every CW show in existence. I apologize in advance if any of these shows no longer feature gay characters. I don't watch any of them, so I only know what the internet it tells me. Vigil, the BBC murder mystery that's been getting rave reviews, is finally available to stream in the US on Peacock TV. The first episode is available for free, but you'll have to pay to watch the rest of the season. And I won't lie, Peacock is not my favorite streaming platform, but it is slowly building a respectable number of shows featuring queer lady characters, like Girls 5 Eva, We Are Lady Parts, and The Girl in the Woods. So it's probably worth a few bucks a month. Probably. Billed as a psychological horror slash coming of age drama, Yellow Jackets tells the harrowing tale of a teenage soccer team's fight for survival after their plane crashes in the Canadian wilderness. I'm not scared of you, burnout. No, you're jealous, because you're an uptight, prudish little. <laughs> After watching the trailer, I thought Yellow Jackets would be a mix between The Wilds and I Know What You Did Last Summer. But then I watched the first two episodes, and now I don't know what this show is, other than really, really dark. Everything about it is darker. Yellow Jackets is essentially a millennial mixtape. It stars Christina Ricci, Juliette Lewis, and every top 40 hit from the 90s. But don't let that fool you. The show is dark, violent, and disturbing, but it's also gripping and a objectively good. It's well acted, well written, and so far it's really well paced. Plus, power lesbians. Your family. You can't be here. Please, I am begging you, please. I'm afraid I'm going to hurt you. If you're already hooked on Yellow Jackets, make sure you're subscribed to my girl Ash's channel because she will be covering all of the episodes, and the link to her channel is in the description below. You can currently watch Yellow Jackets on Showtime. Even though I am definitely the last person on earth to watch Arcane, I am somehow still shocked by how amazing this show is. Without exaggeration, Arcane is the best television show I've watched all year. And what do I have? You're hot. Cupcake. <gasps> so what'll it be? Man or woman? I won't get too deep into Arcane because I will be reviewing it over on Patreon, so be on the lookout for that. But basically, Arcane is an adaptation of one of the most popular online games in the world, League of Legends. Arcane tells the backstory of several of the League's iconic champions, including Vi, an ex-con on a mission, and Caitlyn, a well-to-do young woman looking to shake off her privilege. Arcane is a show that has something for everyone. It's a crowd-pleasing underdog tale, the animation is stunning, the music along with the writing is excellent, and it's even a little bit gay. And I mean a little. If you haven't yet watched Arcane, I highly recommend you do, and you can currently stream it on Netflix. Our Kind of People is a primetime soap opera inspired by the fascinating and provocative book Our Kind of People Inside America's Black Upper Class. The show follows a working class woman's attempts to infiltrate a group of rich and powerful elites because, well, they suck. Also, teenage lesbian shenanigans. I will try for you. But, um, right now I kind of feel like we have some making up to do. Hell yeah. I haven't watched Our Kind of People, but the trailer gives me revenge, Desperate Housewives, and Gossip Girl vibes. And no shade to any of those shows, but they're just not my cup of tea. But if you're intrigued by Our Kind of People or already hooked on the show, my fellow YouTuber Ashley Miller has recapped and reviewed every single episode over on her channel, and the link will be in the description below. So make sure to check her out. And if you think Our Kind of People might be your kind of people, you can currently stream it on Fox through your cable subscriber. The 355 is one of those rare films that's not at all gay, but somehow feels like it was made for the gays.
The 355 follows a group of drop-dead gorgeous lady spies doing, uh, spy stuff? I don't know. It doesn't matter. The trailer gives me Bond, Born, and Ocean vibes, and I will 1000% be watching the 355 in theaters on January 7th. The new Scream, or as I like to call it, Millennial Porn, is yet another sequel we didn't ask for, didn't want, but will definitely still watch. Hello? What's your favorite scary movie? I don't know what the plot for the new Scream is, and I don't really care. I will pay money to go see it because I am part of the problem. And if you are also part of the problem, you can catch Scream in theaters January 14th. That is it for the list. I want to give a quick shout out to my newest patron, Jill. As always, I have to show some love for my Big Spender patrons, Angel and Citizen Ruth. And shout out to everyone who entered the Citizen Ruth Carol Ornament giveaway. The winners have been selected, but I haven't heard back from one of the winners, so I will be selecting one more winner today. So after you watch this video, make sure to check your email and your spam folders because I have a set of custom Carol ornaments that need a home, and that home could be yours. As always, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to let me know which upcoming show or film you're most looking forward to, and I'll see you in the next one.